Not everyone knows all the cool features that your smartphone video camera has. I'm going to talk about a few tips and tricks to help you make a video you might be proud of and want to show people. First things first, let's get resolution out of the way. Unlike taking photos, you can adjust the quality of the video you take by changing the resolution. Generally, you should opt for the highest quality your device is capable of. For most recent phones, that will be 4K. Lighting is important in photography, and even more important in video. The sensors on smartphone cameras function best when you have plenty of light. The best time to shoot outside is during magic hour, the few hours after sunrise and before sunset. If you're photographing people, try to keep them in the shade so they aren't blasted with harsh sunlight. If shooting inside, put your subject near a light source. Natural light from a window works great. Also, make sure your subject's not too backlit. Filmic Pro is a highly regarded third-party app, and my favorite to use when I want to have the most control over video. It gives you manual access to all of your camera's features, as well as functions available on more professional cameras. Alright, so let's talk about composition. Activate the grid on your camera app and use it to help frame your subject when filming, and align points of interest to the intersecting points of the grid. When filming people, try not to leave too much space above your subject, or too little. Aim for something in between. Also, try to keep it still as possible. Even though most phones have some form of stabilization, it's best to minimize movement. If you can, use a tripod to keep everything stationary and composed. Amazon has a few cheap options to choose from that'll work great. Lenses are also a great way to enhance the capabilities of your device. I like to use these ones from Holoclip. They make your smartphone more versatile, give you more creative options for shooting. Most microphones on phones are omnidirectional, meaning they pick up noise from all directions. This may be great when you're casually capturing a scene with natural sound, but can be a problem if you're trying to record clean audio of someone talking. Take your subject somewhere quiet and try to stand close to them. I also recommend getting a microphone for your phone. Amazon has plenty of options to choose from. Clean audio differentiates pro from amateur video, so don't overlook it. Another thing to think about when you're shooting video is what you'll be using it for. This will dictate which orientation you want to capture it in. Most of the time, you'll want to film in landscape, with your phone on its side. As a pro shooter, I always shoot this way because most of the time, that's how your content will be watched. But if you want to shoot an Instagram story or post to Snapchat, you'll want to film vertically, otherwise the apps will crop your video. So besides your normal video functions, there are a few other modes to choose from. Slow motion video can be a lot of fun. This feature works best when you have plenty of light and are filming a fast moving object. Depending on the phone you have, you can choose different frame rates. The higher the frame rate, the slower the video. Time lapse is another time distortion perspective that can be really cool. When capturing a time lapse, you want to keep the camera as still as possible, ideally attaching it to a tripod, and depending on how long you plan to film, you may want to plug in your phone so it doesn't die. Shoot scenes that have some sort of change over time, such as a scenic vista with lots of stuff happening, or a busy area with people milling about. Hyperlapse is a variation of time-lapse that involves motion. The easiest way to capture this is using the app Hyperlapse on iOS and Microsoft Hyperlapse on Android. These are great for when you're on the move. Okay, so now you've captured some great video, what should you do with all of it? There are a few great options to make something cool iMovie, for iOS users, is an easy way to take a bunch of videos that you maybe shot on a trip and edit them together with music and effects. Google Photos also has some options to do this. It makes it really easy to piece together your videos into a cool movie that you can share with family and friends. Once your movie is complete, you can upload to a free service like YouTube or Vimeo and clear up space on your phone. YouTube will give you more space, but Vimeo's quality is much better. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.